got the lightweights for Dana White's Contender Series Week 4. We have Bellagio Oki. He's taking on Dylan Salvador. For Oki, 5-0 and in the last five. Salvador, 4-1. and Now, this card kind of... It kind of has a theme. A couple of guys on this card coming from kickboxing over to MMA. This is one of the matchups. We have another one on this card as well. This one here, we have Salvador, who is coming from kickboxing. He's new to his MMA career, only 5-1 and one in the career. But now here he is, making the MMA type of stuff, making the MMA run, getting in the Dana White's Contender Series. We're going to see how he goes. Now, for Oki, still young prospect as well. Only eight fights in his career, so nothing crazy there. Let's start on the Oki side. So, He's got good striking, good forward pressure, and he's going to work that jab. He's going to keep sticking it and moving his head. That's what he does a lot. Moves the head, sticks the jab. Moves the head, sticks the jab while he's coming forward. He does, at times, start to look for counters. And when he does start to look for counters, that's when he can be backed up. When he's sitting there trying to, like, counter strike, he does a good job of it. Don't get me wrong. But when he starts to do that, that's when he can get backed up. And then as the fight drags on, those hands get lower and lower and lower. So there's a couple of drawbacks in the striking. Like I said, still young in the career, but he's doing a pretty good job so far. I do like those things. He does have pretty good wrestling as well. Unfortunately for him, this it seems to be his second option. He doesn't want to go to it as much. Uh, he prefers to strike, and then we'll go to the wrestling when needed. Because in this matchup, if he wanted to do the wrestling, I think he'd have a really good shot at getting those takedowns. Because he has a very nice double leg. And once he can get on top of you, he's able to start working his ground and pound. He's able to start you know, racking up that control time, whatever. That's a good thing for Oki, especially in a matchup against a kickboxer like Salvador. Salvador, he does have solid striking. His leg kick is beautiful, very solid leg kick. He's got a good counter hook as well, which I don't know if he's going to be able to land that on Oki very much because Oki keeps his straights, you know, long. But if he catches him rushing in, he will be able to hit him with that counter. There is that. He does throw cleaner combinations, I would say. Salvador is the more... Um, combo focused fighter here and i think that's gonna be a better thing for him so i think the striking skill for skill salvador is gonna be better uh, when it comes to the grappling though he does have decent jujitsu he's very active from his back he's gonna start looking for for submissions looking to sometimes looking to sweep but sometimes he does get a little bit too content to just stay on the back and look for submissions which if you look at his record he actually has a lot of wins by submission albeit over some lower level guys so those submissions aren't you know coming against high level black belts in jiu-jitsu or anything like that but he does a good job at getting those submissions especially for a guy who is a kickboxer primarily now his takedown defense is it's pretty lacking i don't know if he even tries to defend takedowns most of the time he just kind of lets it happen so he can start working in the jiu-jitsu department which is where he kind of wants to be which is strange um because if he stayed in the striking i think he'd have better success because he's so willing to be taken down, I'm thinking Oki in this matchup and just hoping for the best and hoping that he's going to use that wrestling to get the takedowns. I do, I just looked at the odds. I do know that he's an underdog currently. I don't know if that's going to remain that way. He's not a big underdog by any means. But I do think that the ability to mix in the double leg, mix in the takedowns in general, I think that's going to be able to get him the win, whether it be by decision or a late finish. I'm going to say probably a decision. I think he's going to grind it out with the wrestling after he realizes that the striking is a little bit too close and he's getting landed on pretty easily. And I don't think Salvador has that one punch power to put a guy like Oki out. So unless he can overwhelm him in, throughout the long haul and get the, the accumulative striking to get the win, I think Oki is going to be able to mix in the wrestling, mix in the takedowns, and stay safe enough to not get submitted. But let me know what you think. I love hearing from you guys in the comments. Like the video on your way out. Thank you so much and check out the playlist. We'll see you there.